Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G versus the iPhone XR and the iPhone XR is powered by Apple A12 Bionic chipset with a 4 GPU of RAM while the Samsung A52 S 5G is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset with 8 GB of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Samsung while on the iPhone XR we have a single camera, we have a 12 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image stabilization. On the Samsung, we have a 64 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image stabilization. Also we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide, we also have 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. Also the bag is made up of plastic on the Samsung versus a glass on the iPhone XR. The side of the Samsung is again is made up of plastic while on the iPhone XR. We have an aluminium frame on the bottom. We have headphone jack on the Samsung which is not really available on the iPhone XR and both phones also has a dual speaker. So in this video I'm going to show you how much a difference between the Samsung A52 S 5G to the iPhone XR in apps opening speed as well as in the boot up test. So without any wasting time let's get right into it. And guys now let's see the boot up test. Here we go. And the logo is came up first on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone. Again, we have Android 11 on the Samsung. We have One UI version 3.1. While on the iPhone XR, we have iOS 15.1 latest software in the iPhone XR. More faster when it comes to putting up. While the Samsung is taking a lot of time. And you can see huge difference. And the Samsung is taking a lot of time because iPhone is always more faster in the booting up speed. Now the A32 S 5G it is also done and you can see about 8 or 9 second difference there maybe more between these devices. And guys now let's talk about the displays between these devices. We have a 6.5 inch Full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the iPhone XR we have a 6.1 inch liquid Retina XDR display with a 60Hz refresh rate. Also on the iPhone we have an Apple notch on the top while on the Samsung we have a punch hole infinity or display. And guys everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Now let's see phone dialer that is a little more faster on the iPhone XR. So next on the list is the settings. Let's see which one is going to be the fastest one. That is exactly the same I have to say. And guys now let's go to the display. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on the Samsung while on the iPhone we have 60Hz refresh rate which looks outdated. Now let's see Amazon shopping on both phones. Same Wi-Fi network again. That is more faster on the iPhone XR if I believe. Let's see the scrolling. That is feels more smoother on the Samsung. 120Hz versus a 60Hz. Now let's see Candy Crush Sega. Faster on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone XR about one second difference there not a huge difference so here's the speakers of the Samsung max volume yes the speakers it is really good on the Samsung much better as compared to the iPhone XR here's the iPhone XR speaker and guys now let's open Instagram faster on the Samsung now let's see pin out pin out faster on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone now let's open the snapchat faster on the Samsung and one thing it is also really good on the Samsung is that when you go to the camera application and when you go, and go right there and this is a mode which is called as fun and this mode is give you a snapchat filters right in your camera application so which means that as a snapchat video quality as well as the photo quality should be really good on the A32 S 5G as compared to any other Android phone yes iPhone it is much better as compared to the Android in terms of the social media optimization. Now let's see Spotify faster on the iPhone XR. Now let's open the Subway Surfer. Subway Surfer should be more faster on the Samsung. Yes, a little more faster there. So the Samsung, a little more faster there. Now let's open the Temper N2 and the Temper N2. Let's see which one is faster. Yes, we have different version on both phones and this version it is not really available on the Samsung as of now. But Samsung again, a little more faster there. And you can see, and you can see about a 4 or 5 second difference there. 
now let's opening up the Twitter and the Twitter move faster on the Samsung now let's open Zedge and the Zedge faster on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone now let's see the scrolling again more smoother on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone 120 Hertz versus the 60 Hertz on the iPhone XR and last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one more faster on the iPhone XR again on the back we have a single camera on the iPhone XR while on the Samsung we have a quad cameras we have ultra wide which looks like this and you can see also we have a 5 megapixel macro which is not really available on the iPhone XR okay guys now let's see internet plus speed IMC to for Samsung internet browser on the Samsung while on the iPhone XR we have Safari internet browser now let's open the now let's open the gsmarina.com faster on the Samsung as compared to the iPhone XR so now let's see the scrolling that is face more smoother on the Samsung 120 Hertz versus the 60 Hertz but no lag whatsoever on both phones so now let's open this on both phones exactly the same again and next on the list is the xiaomi.com and again more faster little bit on the Samsung but at the end it is very similar let's see the scrolling it is very smooth on both phones and you can see no lag whatsoever but obviously more smoother on the Samsung and guys now let's see RAM HMAT on both phones we have 4 GP of RAM on the iPhone XR again we have Apple optimization while on the Samsung we have 8 GP of RAM with Samsung optimization now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM HMAT now let's start off with the phone dialer no refresh now let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping and Amazon shopping no refresh on both phones now let's see Candy Crush Sega refresh on the Samsung Instagram that is no refresh let's see pin out and now let's see snapchat no refresh let's see Spotify no refresh now let's open the sub suffer no refresh now let's see temper and 2 no refresh now let's opening up the tutor. Now let's see Zedge. Last way back to the internet browser, which we left and you can see. And cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that the Samsung Galaxy A32 S5 G is perform more faster as compared to the iPhone XR. The game after in time, I would say that in system based application again, both phones is perform very similar. Yes, in the social media application it is more optimized on the iPhone XR, but the Samsung it is also not really right behind. In terms of the RAM wise and both phones is perform very good in the RAM management. No refresh on both phones and that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S5 G versus the iPhone XR. Now let's talk about the battery sizes. On the Samsung, we have 4500 mAh battery size with a 15 watt adapter in the box. While on the iPhone XR, we have 2900 mAh battery size with a 5 watt normal adapter in the box. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.